guys, welcome to our second example of um, resultant of four systems, no? Dito sa pangalawa natin example, feeling ko medyo, uh, no, para sa inyo medyo mahirap. Pero, let me assure you na hindi ito mahirap. Dahil may dalawang way para masolve ito. At ang ituturo ko sa inyo ay ang um, pares na yun, no? Pares na yun. Mamili na lang kayo kung alin yung mas gusto ninyong um, way kung paano mag-solve, no? Kung ano yung mas prefer ninyo. Well, for the first um, step that I will um, teach to you is yung um, feeling ko is medyo madali, no? Ang tanong dito sa ating pangalawang example ay The triangle block shown in figure is subjected to the loads P is equal to 1,600 pounds and for B, it has 600,000 pounds. If AB, no, itong segment AB is equals to 8 inch and BC is 6 inch, resolve each load into components normal and tangential to AC. Tangential to AC meaning parallel dito sa segment AC yung line na, tangi na tang um, tangential force. No? Ganun lang. So meaning unahin muna natin tong force P kasi since nasa taas siya. So, sabi din sa tanong, no, may present dito na tan tangential force, meaning parallel dun sa segment AC. So, we just have to make a line or force which is parallel dito sa ating AC. We need to use ruler, no, para mas okay tingnan. This is the tangential force we can call this as P sub T. Kung may tangential force, of course, meron ding present na normal force. Ang normal force is always parallel, no? Doon sa, uh, dito sa line ng AC. Parallel siya. For example, ito yung AC. Ito yung normal force. No? Sa plane surface. Lagi siyang parallel doon sa line na pinag niya. Guess we have to draw it na lang na. We have here. Let's say it's going up. Kasi ganun naman talaga, no? Yung reaction niya is pataas. Resistance. We can call this as P N. No? For it denotes P normal. And P T for P tangential. Ngayon, para makuha natin to sa previous example natin, ginamit natin yung cosine and sine. Dito, gagamitin din natin. No? Kaya huwag kayong mag-alala. Pero, kung papansin ninyo, may side siya na kulang. Sabi dito, ang side AB ay merong 8 inch. Side CB ay merong 6 inch. Dito, I guess it's 10. No? Try natin. 6 square plus 8 square. Yung ginawa lang natin kanina no, para makuha yung slope ng no, hypotenuse. Tama nga. 10 inch. We will have 10 inch. So, dito, unahin natin yung P tangential. Sa P tangential, ang kagamitin natin dito ay let's consider this as an X component. So, what anong gagamitin, anong gagamitin natin kapag X component? Of course, cosine. So, PT first we have to multiply its magnitude 1600 to its um, direction which is yung kapag so katoa, so ka. Since Tendential, cosine, ka ang gagamitin natin. Adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent of 6 over hypotenuse na 10. It will be equal to 
960 pounds for PN considered a sign 1600 multiplied by so opposite 8 hypotenuse 10 it will be equal to 1280 pounds ganun ng kadali well, dito sa F, no, let's draw, no, ang kanyang tangential and normal. As I said earlier, ang tangential ay perpen uh, parallel sa segment AC. Katulad ng sinabi dun sa tanong. Normal naman ay perpendicular sa segment AC. Sabihin natin direction ng P-normal ay pataas at ang P-tendential ay pababa. Let's name them as FT, F-tendential, and FN, F-normal. So, for the F-normal, uh, ano muna tayo? F-tendential, sorry. F-tendential. It's magnitude, no? Multiplied by so, ka, ka, adjacent. Adjacent side of 6 over 10. Hypotenuse, no? It will be equal to 360. Yeah. 360 pounds. And for F normal, uh, meron tayong magnitude na 600 times so opposite over hypotenuse and it will be equal to 480 480 pounds ayan ganyan lang ganyan lang kadali ang pagsolve niyan Pero I bet, itong susunod na ituturo ko sa inyo, palagi nyo itong gagamitin. Dahil sobrang dali lang talaga. etong nakikita ninyong mga force dito, no? Mga force na yan. Sa physics, considered as uh, vectors, no? We can use them to form a force triangle. Pero para sa akin, ha, mas okay talagang gamitin ang force triangle para sa akin. So, let's try for P. <clears throat> we have Sige, tangential muna. Yung kanyang tangential force. Let's name this as PT ang kanyang P and it has a value of 1,600 no? pounds at normal sige kahit hindi na masyadong perpendicular basta guess yun na Ito yung normal. Guys, dito nyo magagamit ang mga salita na supplementary angle, complementary, uh, something like that. So, first, since ano yung angle dito, no? Gagamitin natin yung kanilang side. Or, kung gusto ninyo, Ganito ang gawin ninyo. Since we have 10 inch here dito sa hypotenuse, meron tayo ditong 6 inch for adjacent and 8 inch for um, opposite. We can use 
to get the angle ah. to get theta we have to use arc tangent arc tangent of soka towa so towa ang gagamitin natin towa means t or tangent is equals to opposite over adjacent for the angle it will be equal to shift tangent 8 over 6 53.13 Yan, 53.13, ganun ang kandali para makuha ang angle, no? Just use arc tangent or the TOA, no? Remember, so katoa, you have to uh, memorize it, no? You have to learn that. Meron na tayong angle na 53.13. Ito, kaya ako nilagyan ng ganyan, alam nyo na yan, dahil yan ay perfectly 90 degree. Also this one, no? If we have a per perfect triangle here, no? Meron tayong angle na 53.13 at may angle dito na 90 degree. Yung complementary na itong 53.13 ay ano, ganito lang po makukuha yan. You have, you just have to subtract this one to 90 degree like for example 90 minus 53.13 makukuha na natin ang complementary angle nito which is 36.87 36.87 kung 36.87 naman to at since, di ba, eto, hindi ko lang siya ginawa masyadong perpendicular kasi nga, medyo napakapos tong sa piko, no? Pero perpendicular yan. Since perpendicular, dapat to, etong segment na to. Eto, tapos, dapat, ganito ang ating um, PN, hindi na natin ginawa. Pero since 36.87 to, at perpendicular, ta, perpendicular to, gagamitin ulit natin yung ginawa natin dito, which is 90, minus 36.87 which is 53.13 exactly equal lang dito kasi nga parehas silang perpendicular so this angle will be 53.13 kung 53.13 to complementary nya ay also this one 36.87 36.87 ganun lang po kadali so if we combine this one kaya lang naman natin hinati ito sa dalawa ay para mas mapadali o ninyo maintindihan ang um, angle sa mga sinasabi ko so we just add to we just have to add this so kapag in natin to automatically equivalent siya sa 90 ganun lang po kadali okay now in order to determine its PT and PN, ganito naman ang gagawin natin. Natatandaan nyo ba yung um, A is equals to sin A is equals to B sin B equals to C sin C. Ganyan ang gagawin natin para makuha natin to. So, for example, we are going to determine PT. Meron tayong value dito, which is yung P. P is equals to kung saan siya nakatapat na angle. etong P nakatapat dito. etong PT nakatapat dito. etong PA nakatapat dito. Angle, no? Sa angle sila nakatapat. At kung saan sila nakatapat, yun ang gagamitin nating angle sa baba nila. For example, P nakatapat dito sa angle 90. We just have to use sin 90. At equal siya, may, val may value siya, ano na, 1,600 over sin 90 equals 
PT. Sa nakatapat ng PT? Dito sa angle na 36.87. So, we have to use sine 36.87. Therefore, PT is equals to ito, i-multiply nyo lang alam nyo na kung paano mag-algebraic manipulation, right? So, or you can just use calculator para mas mapadali. 1,600 over sine 60. Alpha x over sine 36.87. It will be equal to One thousand one hundred eight. I cannot believe this. Hey, mali. Ah, that's why. Sign sixteen na lagay ko. I'm sorry. Instead, sign ninety dapat yun. So we have equal lang oh nine sixty. 960 yung lumabas. Equal lang dito sa PT natin. Diba? Ganun lang po ko talaga kandali. So, sobrang dali lang ng mga way na ituturo ko sa inyo. At I bet, kahit sino sa kanila, pwede ninyong gamitin. So, for PN, we just have to use again the 1,600 over sin 90 as our reference, no? Equals to equals PN PN all over yung PN natin nakatapat dito sa angle na to which is 53.13 sin 53.13 ang answer niya is 1279.99 or i-round up na natin as 1,280 pounds. As easy as that.